Nine in your side's investigation into steroids and greyhounds got results. The city of Tucson changed its law, but racetrack CEO Tom Taylor says it's not over. As Marcelino Benito reports, it is getting personal. He has that side of the story in Not In Your Side continuing coverage. And they're off. You can call it a good old fashioned dog fight. Councilman Steve Kazachik and Tom Taylor don't see eye to eye when it comes to the Greyhound. He said that he wants to shut down Tucson Greyhound Park. Now it's personal. Now it, I take offense to it. I would like to see the state legislature and the state racing commission just say we're not going to have dog racing in this state. This is nothing personal between me and anybody associated with the track. He says it's about stopping animal abuse. It's why the council voted to outlaw Greyhound steroid injections inside city limits. And while our nine on your side investigation on those injections may have helped get the rest of the council on Kazachik's side, Taylor believes the Ward 6 councilman has a personal vendetta against his business. Because he's trying to, to be uh, blindly get into a truck with dynamite and drive it into Tucson Greyhound Park and blow it up. After last night's vote, Taylor pledges to no longer skirt the law. He plans to take the fight to South Tucson, where the ban originally passed. But South Tucson City Manager Enrique Serna says not so fast. How easily is that done? Not easily, no. In, in fact, um, unless he's got some kind of magician attorney, you know, you are not going to be able to, unless he tries to go to the state legislature in some awkward way. Uh, to reverse uh, protecting the animals. Taylor just needs 195 signatures to put it back on the ballot. By no means an unreasonable number. So do you think this has a shot if it's back on there? Well, of course, anything has a shot. You know, the U of A has a shot at going to the Rose Bowl this year, but I hope our shot is better than his at winning this. Tonight, the city of South Tucson tells us they applaud the Tucson City Council's decision. They are optimistic that Taylor will now respect the laws of South Tucson. Marcelino Taylor has mentioned these bans could force the track to close. Did the South Tucson officials have anything to say about that? They did, Guy. The city manager tells me he understands businesses have to make decisions, but he considers this a pretty empty threat. All right, Marcelino, thank you.